Hey there tech fans, Rick here again with another review. And today, I have the DJI Mic, which is DJI's brand new wireless kit. Now this product has been out for a couple of months and I've actually had it since the very beginning. I've been out using it in the field, I've used it here in the studio, because I like to really put a product through its paces before I do a review, because there's a lot of things you can discover with a product like this that you may not see when you first open up the box. So a lot of times, I'm so anxious to get inside of a box and start reviewing a product that I race into the review. But this one I thought, let me wait a little bit, let me use it out in the field, let me explore with it a little bit to figure out all the things it can do, and then I'll put a clip together. And that's exactly what today's clip's gonna be. Now, the way I'm gonna do this clip is I'll start off with an unboxing, just to show you everything you get with the kit, and that way you understand exactly what the product provides. And then, I'll actually give you an overview of the product because DJI's got a groundbreaking product here for a lot of different reasons. They've got a lot of first built into it, and that's one of the things I love about this company is that there's a market out there for wireless microphones. They've been around for quite some time, and there's a lot of really big names in that category that are really audio companies. Well, DJI is more of a drone company, a camera company. They've been expanding their market share in different areas. But for them to dive into the wireless microphone market and come out with a product like this and build an innovation in a product like this is pretty incredible. And I'll, I know I'm building up some, some excitement here, but there's a couple of things in this microphone that for me really make it like the Swiss army knife of wireless microphone recording. And I'll talk about all those in a minute. But anyway, after the overview, I'll take a closer look at the unit and all the accessories and I'll explain how they work and, and the buttons and the knobs and the indicators so you understand exactly how to use it. And then I'll come back at the end and I'll point out a few things that really separate this particular product from all the other wireless microphone kits out there on the market because you have a choice when you buy a wireless microphone if you're going to use it for vlogging or TikToks or you're just doing podcasts, those types of things. And I want to make sure you spend your money on the right product. And again, there's a lot of great products on the market, but when I get through this review, I'm hoping that I've convinced you that this product at this point in time is king of the hill for so many reasons. So let's get started with the unboxing and then I can dive into the cool stuff. So when you pop open the box, you'll find the case. Now it's a charging case. You'll see both of the microphones inside as well as the receiver. There's also two adapters in there, one for Apple and one for USB-C. And that's important because that's an innovation. So let me close that up. There are two windscreens. Now what's interesting again is the engineering team from DJI spent a lot of time thinking about how you're gonna use it out in the field. And one of my pet peeves with all the other microphone kits on the market is that the windscreen pops off. I've lost so many windscreens out in the field where you're out there in rough conditions, the wind's blowing, you got a jacket on, these things pop off, land in the grass, and then you're on Amazon or some other place trying to find a replacement windscreen. These, the engineering behind how they attach, they thought it through. So it's not like they were rushing into the market just to put out some kind of wireless microphone. They really thought about every aspect of it. So you get two windscreens, one for each of the transmitters. You get a charging cable. Now, my only pet peeve with this product is this is a tiny charging cable. It's a USB-A to USB-C. Any USB-A to USB-C cable will work, but they could have given us a little longer cable because with this one, you gotta be really close to the charger to actually charge the case, but that's not that big a deal. You'll also find a three and a half millimeter uh, audio cable, and this one is a TRS cable, which is what you're gonna use with your camera. So if you're gonna plug it into a camera, normally you've got a TRS or a TRRS if you're recording stereo, but I use the TRS more than I use anything else. And they give you a really nice pouch for it as well, which is great because this is, a, this is a beautifully designed case, and I know that's a small point, but the fact that they took time with the molding to build in this like uh, high-tech finish on the outside, which gives you a little bit of grippability, if that's even a word, it, it just really it screams high class and high end. So I like that. But again, the case is nice because you can put it in the case and protect it when it's out in the field. And it's not some cheap cloth case that you know is gonna get scratched up or torn. It's a pretty nice little nylon case that's really gonna protect it. Also included with the kit is the safety guidelines because you're dealing with uh, units that have batteries inside of them. So there are some charging concerns. You wanna make sure you charge it correctly and you protect it from the weather. And then there's a quick start guide right here that explains pretty much everything you'll need to know about this particular product to use it correctly. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the unit because I'm, I kind of teased you before with a couple of the innovations that I thought were, I called it groundbreaking and I think they are. So for starters, it comes with a single receiver and two transmitters. Now, the first thing you'll want to know is uh, obviously, how is the audio quality? Well, I'm going to give you a sample of that in a little bit, but how far can you use those transmitters from the receiver? 250 meters. Now that seems, seems um, impossible to me that you could be standing 250 meters, 750 feet to almost seven football fields, eight football fields away and still have connectivity. And a lot of that has to do with DJI's ability 
to connect a drone to a controller and a lot of other technology they've innovated in where they've built this specialized transmission technology that guarantees a rock solid signal between the transmitters and the receivers. Now, I thought when I first read that, when would you ever be 750 feet away from the camera? You'd be this tiny little ant down there on the horizon. So it's not so much that I can run 750 feet away from the camera, it's that I know I'm gonna have a really reliable signal in close. And I'll be honest with you, one of your biggest enemies when you're using these kind of microphones is yourself. Because radio transmissions do not like to go through all kinds of obstructions. And you might think, well, a wall's an obstruction, especially if they're steel or maybe concrete. All of those are true. But one of the biggest obstructions for this kind of technology is your body. Because if you think about it, I think we're 90%, I'm guessing here, but we've got a large water content in our body. So we're really a big bag of water. This thing's on the front of you. If you turn, your body is now between you and the receiver. So you need a really, really strong signal to overcome that level of interference. And these do a great job. Now, I've got another clip I've been working on where I'm gonna show you how far you can actually transmit with these and still get a rock solid signal, just in case you wanna test that 250 meter limit. But for now, let's agree that it'll transmit a great distance away from the camera to the point where you can't actually see the person talking. But that's good because in close, I've got a rock solid signal. Another really cool thing is they've, if you look closely, they've got different cases, different form factors between the receiver and the transmitter. And again, you might not notice that and it may not even register, but when you think about the manufacturing process, when you think of other companies' products, the microphone and the receiver are basically squares with rounded corners. And the reason that is a big difference, and I think about this kind of stuff, is that that's one mold. They can push out one case they can change the printed circuit board, drop it inside, and they've got, you know, they've got a lower cost of manufacturing. Here, you've got a custom case for the receiver and a different custom case for the transmitter, so extra cost, but the reason they did that was because this is nice and small. And the reason that's important is because of these other two things inside the case, these two little adapters right here, which are tricky to get out. There's one for an Apple product and one for an Android product, USB-C. Unlike the other kits on the market that only work with your camera without an adapter for your phone or for other products you may want to slide it into, this one has these adapters just like they had in their Osmo products where you can connect up your phone by sliding an adapter on it. These slide onto the receiver. So what that means, and I'll pause here for a second so it sinks in, is that this product will work with my DSLR camera. It'll work with my Apple products. It'll work with my Android products without any shenanigans. I just basically slide one of the adapters on and connect it to my phone. So one of the reasons they had to make the receiver smaller and a little more compact is that I don't want this big giant brick dangling off my phone when I'm out there in the field where it's clanging against the phone, picking up all kinds of noise. I think again, the design team looked at this and said, all right, look, we can easily make a receiver that's smaller. And if we made it smart enough to slide those adapters on that we used on the Osmo products, we could slide this right onto the end of the phone or the tablet or whatever you're using to record, and it doesn't weigh a lot, so it's not putting a lot of uh, torque on that particular connection. Again, they're thinking all this stuff through, so you no longer have to worry about, I've got a wireless microphone that I'm using with my DSLR, I've got a different wireless microphone that I'm using with my, my phone, my tablet, whatever recording device that I need. Another groundbreaking innovation on this product is the fact that you have local recording on the microphones. And I'm laughing because it seems so simple when you say it out loud, but if you think about that, normally you make a wireless connection and you're, you're talking over the microphone and it's getting recorded on your, on your camera along with the video feed that comes in from the front. On this one, it does the same thing. So it's always recorded an audio on your camera or your phone or whatever you're doing, but it also has internal recording of 14 hours and it's 24-bit audio. So you could use this without connecting to anything out in the field and just record. So if you're a podcaster, that's all you need. Just take that with you out in the field, wander out there in the beautiful woods and put your podcast together, talk about whatever you want to talk about. And the recording is right here. I don't have to worry about bringing a recorder with me, connecting up the receiver, making sure that I've got a connection there. So the first advantage is I've got a recording studio right here in a little box that I can take with me anywhere. If I'm on the road and I'm doing a podcast, I pop that out of the case. I do my podcast and I'm ready to go. The other advantage there is if you've ever used a wireless microphone setup, especially if you've done something like a convention or an area where there's a lot of electronic noise. We've gone to CES a couple of years. We, we try to go every year, but anyway, when you go to see CES or any kind of convention, everybody on the floor has got something digitally fired up and it's all making digital noise. There's all kinds of frequencies and uh, electric waves flying around the place. A wireless microphone setup is a nightmare in those kind of locations. And what happens is you're interviewing somebody, you're talking to somebody, 
and the audio drops out because you've turned and blocked it or there's another frequency that's interfering with you. So the fact that I'm recording a secondary track on the microphone means when I get home from the convention and I start editing my clips, I don't have to worry about the, uh, uh, it, uh, it, the audio is not broken up. Even if it's broken up on the camera, I've got a secondary track on the microphone. So it's really easy for me to patch that in and fix that problem. So again, when I say groundbreaking, I'm, I'm sure that everybody else that saw this come out, all the major competitors that build these kind of wireless microphone setups have bought these, taken them apart, studied them. You're going to see these kind of features, I think, on other products in their next generation. But I have to hand it to DJI again for their entry, their, their freshman effort to get into this market to come up with these kind of innovations. And I know you might be thinking, Rick, you're getting way too excited about a wireless microphone, but I use it every day. And I've suffered through the problems that I've described. This fixes all of them. So I really like it an awful lot. All right, so that's the basic overview. Again, you're going to get five hours of use out of these. It's a charging case, so the minute I drop it back in the case, it turns off the microphones and starts charging them again. Same thing here, you gotta be careful. It's kind of keyed, I almost put it in upside down. It's kind of keyed so it goes in a certain way to actually lock in. The minute you put it back in, it's gonna start recharging. It charges in the back with a USB-C connection. Again, they include the cable. My recommendation is get a little longer cable, um, but you know, you can use the cable that comes with it. And they even built a little spot for the two adapters which slide on the end and allow you to record from your phone. So. The engineering is solid on this. The innovation, to me, uh, those two things that I mentioned, there's a couple more, but those two in particular um, just blew me away because I'm thinking, you could have, DJI, you could have just come out with a wireless microphone kit that did an okay job. And you're DJI, you got a lot of people that love your products, you're going to sell a ton of them. But they didn't stop there. They said, nope, we understand what that market's like. We're going to try and innovate a little bit, just like they do with everything. Remember when they came out with their first action camera and they were the first guys to have a little screen on the front and everybody else started copying it? I guarantee you the features that are in this are probably going to show up. I can't guarantee it probably. So I'm, prob I'm probably going to see the features in this show up on other products when they're released in their next generation. But I got to take my hat off to them. I think they did a great job. All right, so that's the basic overview of the product. If you stay tuned, next I'll take a closer look at it because there's a lot going on in here and I want to make sure you can see the product and see all the screens and see exactly what's going on, how you connect up different things. And then I'll come back at the end and try and emphasize some of the things that really gets me excited about this particular product because I know I get accused of being a DJI fanboy because I always get excited about their products, but how can you not get excited when a product like this comes out that solves all of my woes out in the field when I'm out there recording at a convention or I'm trying to make a connection to me out in the woods someplace and I turn and block the audio. It doesn't happen on this one. Those things are good and I just love a company that addresses those types of things. More importantly, I love the bits. I love the tech behind it. You know that. You've watched the channel for a while. I get so excited when I see innovation in this space and not just a Me Too product, but something that pushes the envelope forward because it not only gives me a better value in a product like this, but it pushes all of the competitors in that space to do better and build better products. So anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself a little bit. Stay tuned. Next, I'll have the closer look and then I'll come back with uh, a couple of points that you want to remember if you're comparing this to other wireless microphone kits on the market. Mm -hmm.